Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50, and it reads, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, for a bear. And another another night, you know what I'm saying? Lord brung judgment upon a whole lot of people. 52 people just got deleted in Iraq. You see, uh, an another t t 52, what is it? At a wedding ceremony, at another wedding reception. All kind of people got deleted over here in Babylon. Th throughout the four corners of the Lord said, misery, we're living in that time. See, see what people can't fathom. So we're living in a time where the Lord is getting ready to visit the earth, which he made. We're seeing all the tall tale signs. We're seeing earthquakes. We're seeing storms. We're seeing floods. We're seeing plagues. Everything that the Lord told the prophets of the Lord to go warn the people of. You see? But, but oh, yeah. But with everything that's going on, you, you see nothing but folly going on. The, this is the same thing that was going on during Noah's time. It won't nothing but folly going on. Everybody planning what they're going to do on the weekend, planning their vacation. No, you, you better be planning, you know what I'm saying, to serve you how. Bush, you know, shot for you so called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. The government preparing to shut down, but they ain't going to shut down. But eventually, they will shut down because eventually, you know what I'm saying, the Lord's going to put an end to Babylon. He, he is. And you can believe that. Let's get it again. But oh yeah, Israel thinking about voting. Second Ezra chapter eight verse fifty. This is something quick too about to head out. Second Ezra chapter eight verse fifty for many great miseries. Misery, Israel. That's all. That's all you're gonna see from here on out. We go through it all the time. Look, look, more job losses. People, people buildings closing down right now. Look, look at all them different Target stores that are about to close down. So they can't stay open because of all this theft. No, no, you can't stay open because the God of the Bible is closing all these stores down, closing all these retail stores down, everything. All the hair salon, ain't going to be no more hair salons. See, ain't going to be no more nail shops. Ain't going to be no more coffee shops. Ain't going to be no more restaurants. Ain't going to be no more nothing. You got to get it how you live. You got to get it out the mud, as they say. You see? Doggy dog world. You see, every man for himself. Everybody say they are they're independent. Everybody you know what I'm saying living their best life and all that. Well, get it how you live, so come. You got to get. You got to go out there and get food from somewhere. It ain't gonna be from no damn store though. You got to go somewhere. And you know how people don't know how to hunt. Our people don't know how to hunt, they don't know how to fish, they don't know how to plant crops. They don't, they don't, they don't know how to do nothing. But go to damn Mickey D's and order some food offline. And let, and let them bring it to your house. But that's about to be done away with. Why? Because great misery shall be done to them that in a lot of time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. See, the Lord is known by his judgments. The Lord is known. Let's just get something right quick. Like I said before, this is just something quick through the Spirit, just throwing something together. Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel. So look, it's edified. So as I woke up, the Lord was like, yo, you, you already see what I'm So as I turned on the TV, the first thing I seen was, I'm saying, 52 people being deleted. And Lord willing, when I get to work, I do a GMS in the news on it. Keep me, keep Israel edified. You know what I'm saying up to date. Plus, I, I I keep myself up to date with these news articles and things of that nature. Let's get this. Psalm chapter one forty five. Psalm chapter one forty five. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll start at five. I will speak of the glorious honor of Thy Majesty, and of Thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts. All these different deletions. The Lord deleting a whole lot of people, man. Of thy terrible acts. Remember, the Lord is known by his judgments, right? And look, and, and men shall speak of thy might, of the might of thy terrible acts. And I will declare thy greatness. So that's exactly what the men of the Lord are doing. All you hear is people like, yo, you hear, you hear this happen, you hear that happen. It's all the works of the Lord. It's all the works of the Lord. And hopefully, hopefully they do shut down. If the government shut down, the, the military people ain't going to be able to get their checks. This, this is called judgment. Remember, the Lord is known by the judgment. He executed. Matter of fact, let's stay here. Let's get look at Psalm 78. We'll stay in Psalms for a minute. Psalm 78. And let's see. Let's see. Let's 
Yeah, dude, you know what I'm saying? I went up in that, um, well, whatever it was they was having over there in Iraq, you know what I'm saying? Screamed out some. Oh, shit. Look, buildings being, um, this dude, you know what I'm saying? Um, burnt down this dude's apartment because he wouldn't give him no cigarettes. Psalm chapter 78, verse 49. He cast upon them the heavenly father, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, right? Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, wrath and indignation, meaning righteous anger and trouble by sending evil angels among them, meaning them different spirits, the, the spirits created with vengeance, they're, they're active, Israel. Let's get, I want to I I get this. As a matter of fact, let's, let's stay in Psalms right quick. Let's get one more in Psalms. And the Lord said, greater evils. What we're seeing right about now, what we're, we're, look, we're just seeing a little bit of the works of the Lord. He, he's about to get down for real, for real. Psalms chapter 7, verse 11. The Most High Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh shall he judge the righteous. And the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. Why do you think so many people are being taken off the face of the earth? Why do you think so many people are being taken off the face of the earth? Because the Lord say, I'm judging the wicked. Let's go here. Let's go. Um, let's go. So rock the fortieth chapter. Let's just go here. Let's just go here. So rock chapter forty. You just look at the news. And all of a sudden, you turn on the news. You're like, man, Lord, have mercy. It, it just puts fear in you. It's, it's exposed to anyway. So rock chapter forty. We 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 we'll, we'll go straight to nine. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and discourse. These things are created for the wicked. Remember, he says he's angry with the wicked every day, right? These things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood. Uh, banging banging on South Santa Street sends one person to hospital. All, 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 number crime. When it look, when, that's why we got to discern the times. That's why we got to walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Let's just get that right quick. Just get that right quick. These are the times that we live in the Israel Walt Second Space. You got um kids going around sucker punching um people. Oh yeah, hundreds laid off at Triangle Base Epic Games. Hund hundreds of people. Look, look, misery. Hundreds of people just got laid off at the Triangle Base Epic Games where they just sit around and play games all damn day. Hundreds, hundreds of people just got laid the hell off, man. These are the times that we're living in. Ephesians chapter 5. Mentioned it earlier yesterday through the spirit of Yahweh, but a whole lot of people receiving pink slips. Yeah, when a whole for elect just praying to the Lord to give us this day our daily bread, we content with what we have. Hundreds laid off at triangle base epic games. The Lord's shutting the shit down, man. All right? Let's get this. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. See then that you all circumspectly supposed to be walking around paying attention to what's going on, Israel. Checking out current events, looking up the local news, at least look, knowing what's going on in your backyard. It's going to be a cold winter. And they're getting ready to make it mandatory. You know what I'm saying? Did you take that down, Capri Sun? You, they, uh, they're making it mandatory that you wear no mask again. Are all the above. When you get on the, um, the transit, the city transit buses or the city trains and things of that nature get in your Ubers. They're going to they're make you, um, when you go on your jobs, they're going to make you put that damn pepper back on your face. For, uh, all in the name of protection. All in the name of protection. Ooh, the boogeyman, the boogeyman, the air. The air is so bad. Bad, 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 bad air. Come on, man. We're not ignorant of Satan and vices, but the scriptures tell us what? See then that you walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Nothing but spirits created for vain. Look, we got to know what time it is. And the things that are written aforetime were written for our learning. Let's get Proverbs. Like I said before, just, just something quick. Lord one of the elect is edified. We're, we're living in that time. The Israelites that are not paying attention to what's going on, the Lord, you watch what the Lord do to you, man. It's going to be beautiful. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. And it reads, a prudent man, a wise man, for see if the evil. You, you, you paying attention. You walking circumspectly. You seeing these different um, um, legislation bills that they passing. The further oppress you and the further take away more and more of your so-called quote unquote rights. But you ain't never really had no rights anyway. That, that was all um, um, what's like, all farce. 
That was all a farce, you know what I'm saying? That, that you people thinking that you had the freedom to do this, to do that. I mean, come on, man. A, a slave really ain't got no freedom. He, 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 we're living in a time to where they're making slaves feel like they're free. You got an ID, you got a birth certificate card, you got a social security number, guess what? You're a slave. You got a passport, guess what? You're a slave. They tell you where you can go and where you can't go. They let you go where they want you to go, all right? And then they, they, and then the one thing about going out of town or going out of the country with your passport, you got to let them know how long you're going to be gone and when you're coming back. But, but, but oh, you're free though, right? Proverbs 22 and 3, a prudent man, a wise man, foresee the evil. And hideth himself where? In this comfort, in the word. But the simple passed on and are punished. That's why misery is coming upon a whole lot of you people, man. Nothing but misery. And look, look, evils and only evils, man. But look, the Lord says it's going to get worse than that. We're, look, Israel, we haven't seen nothing yet. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper. Tell them what's going to happen before it even happened. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the mad. That's why every time we say something according to the Bible, it comes to pass. It's, it's big coming to pass. Prophecy ain't never stopped. Prophecy was always being fulfilled, right? And look, fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity mean an unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Because the people that, you know what I'm saying, come up against us, you see, uh, they imagine something bad. They, they actually want something bad. They want us off the street. They, they want us deleted. The Lord said, don't let that worry you. Don't let the incredulity, meaning the unbelief of them, the people that don't believe, the family members that don't believe, the sons and the daughters that don't believe, don't let that worry you. For all the unfavor shall die in the unfavor. They're going to get caught in some of these sore judgments that the Lord got coming upon the face of the earth and that he got coming now. You see, behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. We're seeing that. All throughout the four corners of nothing but plagues, the sword, which represents destruction, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness has exceedingly proved the whole earth and the hurtful works of a fear. And you can continue to read on down in that. You see? Egypt shall mourn, America, Babylon, the great shall mourn. You got people invading one another. People going to be in and out of each other's houses because of the lack of bread and because all that hell they're going to be catching. You see? That's what they look like. Let's just get this. Let's get uh, let's get aim. Let's go back to Amos. Let's get Amos. Because remember, think not that I'm come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Re remember that. Only only destruction, Israel. That's all that's coming. Amos chapter six. Let's get this. Amos chapter six verse one. Woe meaning destruction. Woe to them that are ease in Zion. You comfortable? Remember the script. Michael two and ten said, "This is not our rest." But you go right back to um, so rock um, 5 and 7. It says, um, seek ye the Lord. Uh, make no tarry to turn it to the Lord. Don't put it off from day to day. And that's exactly what our people are doing. They, they're, trying to, they're trying to serve the Lord at the right time. They think they're going to judge. This is not hopscotch, all right? This is not hopscotch, Israel. This is real life, man. You, you, your life is on the line. You got Israel. I'm gonna wait for the right time. I'm gonna wait for a whole lot of hell. I, I need some more. I need to see more hell break loose, and then I, then I jump on Yahweh by Shimon Shai's on board. You see, then I jump on board. But, but for right now, we, I'm having too much fun. I'm making six figures a year and things of that nature. I'm jet setting. I got the finest designer clothes. I got the, I got the good shoes and all that. Woe to them. I got a comfortable life. My grocery, my refrigerator full of grocery. You see, I got you, I got them some Giuseppe's or whatever they, they wear nowadays. You see, but the Lord said, woe to them that are ease in Zion. You're comfortable. You're lackadaisy like ain't nothing happening. But we just read Ephesians, the five, fifth chapter, verse six, five, fifth, 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 fifth. We just read Ephesians, the fifth chapter. And I'm saying, and it says, it's, it's walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. But you comfortable. You you comfortable in a burning house. That is just crazy. The house is actually on fire, but you just sitting there in, on the damn chair. The damn TV burning, the TV on fire and everything. You still... Sitting there eating popcorn, watching the TV spiritually. Are you, are you serious? In a burning house, you know what I'm saying? Woe to them that are eased, destruction to them that are eased in Zion and trust in the mountain of Samaria. You still trusting in a government that's falling. It's, it's crashing right in front of your eyes, man. The Titanic ship is sinking. You still on it trying to play the piano. Because America's modern day Samaria. Which are named chief of the nation. You saw what happened to um ancient Samaria, that great famine that came through there. You see? And people was um buying um donkey heads for, for uh, what was it, 80, 80 um, silvers. 
It says four score pieces of silver, 80 pieces of silver. I'm saying they was buying, um, selling donkey heads for that much, an ass's head. Oh, yeah, and they were selling um, doves, dung, meaning do, um, bird doo-doo for, um, for five pieces of silver. That's how bad it's going to get, man. Which are named chief of the nation, letting you know it's talking about America, who controls the earth. Sleazy E, where does he control the earth from? America, Babylon the Great, to whom the house of Israel came. See, we came over here to serve punishment. Heavy rains threatened to bring five plus inches of rain flooded to NYC area. So look, look, plague, that's a damn plague right there. You see? All down in the damn So I'm looking at the news right now. And most definitely we pray for the hopeful elect men and women in these different states and these different countries throughout the four corners of the earth. May Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh continue to protect them. But yeah, we just got to, uh, just a quick little lesson. We got to stay occupied in privacy. Because that's all the Lord is bringing upon the face of the earth is privacy. Remember, the Lord is known by his judgment that he executed upon men. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Let's see what else. It, it, it's, so, it's so much to get though, man. We'll, 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 get, we'll get this and then we'll roll out because I got I got a roll. I got a roll. This is Zephaniah. I, I get one more after this. Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 3 and it reads, Seek ye the Lord, Israel. Are you, are you not listening? Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, So be searching for the Lord more than ever right about now. All ye meek of the earth which have wrought his judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be you shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but the Lord is pissed off, man. And he's going from state to state. He's going from country to country, destroying people at will. He's sending forth those spirits that are created for very little evils and only evils. Man, I got, I got one more, then I'm gone. I got one more, then I'm gone. And and and, and, and the thing about it, the Lord said greater evils. Let's go to some rock, some rock on five and seven. The Lord said, remember, Ezekiel 3 and 17, give them one for me. And the Lord said, um, if he sent a sword upon the land, if the watchmen don't want the people, you got all this chaos, all this judgments going forth. And the Lord said, if these watchmen, look, look, they're going to make it mandatory that you take that sea hip too, that implantable device in order to buy and sell. And the Lord said, if the if the watchmen know that all that's coming to pass and he don't want nobody, the people that get deleted, the Israelites that do get deleted, their blood is going to be on the watchman's hands. Why do you think we wanted you? The Lord said, Lord, if you love me, feed my sheep. I mean, I, I ended off with that. I, I make time. So Rock chapter 5, verse 7, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. This real deal, Israel. Make no tarrying. You're not promised them all. I'm not promised them all, right? Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Don't put it off from day to day. Look, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, Israel. Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. We can't continue to put it off from day to day. You see, and nobody don't give a damn about no Pat of the Bell performing at a damn D pack. No, nobody don't care about that, man. Only thing our people should be caring about right about now, because look, we read it. I read it earlier. It's better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, because that be the end of all men. And the living will lead to his heart. You know how bad it's getting. Only thing our people think about is no matter no matter how bad it gets. The only thing our people think about is a good damn time. And look, and, and it's crazy, man. I, I might I might as well get that. Let's just get Luke right quick. I was gonna get the other one, but I get Luke and I end it off. Luke chapter 12, right? Luke chapter 12. I think this it, ain't it? Luke chapter 12. Let's see. I thought this was it. It ain't it. 17. Luke 17. So like it. Luke chapter 17. Verse 26, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Because because reincarnation. Same people. That's why that's why that term of the world repeats itself. Because the same people. If you can't get reincarnation, man, the Lord ain't dealing with you. If you can't get reincarnation, the Lord truly ain't dealing with you, right? 
And it and, and, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. When Lord Yahweh shall come back, right? They did eat. This is what's, this was what was going on then. This is what's going on now. They did eat. They drank. They married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all, right? Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat. They drank. They bought. They sold. They planted. They built it. The same people are coming back, right? Look, look. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Because look, the same scenario, same people. And the Lord coming back to destroy them again, man. All right? Again. But this time with fire, with nuclear fire. You see? With the temperatures going to raise, um, rise well above, you know what I'm saying, um, 200 million degrees Celsius. The, 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 pretty much the temperature of the interior of the sun, which nobody can't really give you the temperature of it, but it is extremely hot. You do not want to be involved in it. So we're just giving you warning. In Ezekiel 3 and 17, son of man, give them warning from me. I have made thee a watchman, therefore give them warning from me. So just giving you warning, evils and only evils, Shalom. On to the next.